I thought I'd share my way of making breakfast sandwiches. If you buy them at the store, you're paying over a dollar or so for a sandwich that's frozen and you can't control the ingredients. But if you make them at home, they are much more cost efficient and you get to choose what ingredients are in your breakfast sandwiches. They're convenient and since the kids are home from school, and they're always hungry you can have a stock of these in the freezer and they thaw out real nice in the fridge overnight and 30 seconds in the microwave and you have a breakfast for your kiddos so what I have going on here is my eggs in a large muffin pan that I greased with coconut oil and they're all sitting in there all nestled up real nice but I want to make sure that the yolk incorporates nicely as it cooks. So what we're going to do is just give them a little stir. I have my salt and pepper already in there. Break up the yolk. And then I have some whole milk mozzarella cheese. I'm going to give a little sprinkle to each of my eggs and pop them in the oven until they are cooked, which shouldn't take very long because they are thin. And this will be a part of our breakfast sandwich. All right. We're going to make our biscuits. You need to cream three ounces of softened cream cheese and a cup of cheddar cheese until there is no lumps. And there also the two eggs. and smooth in there. Okay, we have two cups of almond flour. Stick it a little bit. There we go. A fourth a cup of heavy whipping cream. You want to scrape out all of this goodness in there. You don't want to leave any of that expensive cream behind. teaspoon of baking powder, a tablespoon of melted butter, and about a tablespoon or more of green chopped onions, the, the tops of your sprouted onions, or you can buy the green onions and chop those up. Put those in there. And then you mix until just combined. Don't over mix it. down 
and put it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes to get it nice and cold. And then we will pat it out into little biscuits. Here is our dough. It's been chilling for several minutes and the eggs finished cooking as well. They came out perfect. And perfect size to go inside of our biscuit sandwich. And they're not messy. So we're gonna take our dough and we need to have, for this batch, if you're gonna make six biscuits, you need to have 12 because you're not going to cut them in half. I will get a spoon and you don't need much because you're going to be doing a top and a bottom. So if you have extra, you can make you can have them for like a side with your dinner or your salad. This is a savory biscuit. You can, I freeze them. I make large batches and I freeze, freeze them so that I'm not having to make these biscuits every week and of course they are keto friendly because they are using almond flour and your cheese and your cream cheese all that good stuff there now the trick to making these into the proper shape is getting your fingertips wet just a little bit. And then the dough won't stick to your fingers. And you wanna get them into the size that you want your biscuit. And see, my egg will fit just right on there. So I'm going to continue flattening out my biscuits. They should be, oh, a little more than a fourth of an inch thick. Because like I said, each one of these, you need two of these to make one sandwich. Now, if you're going to use these biscuits as like a side dish for, for dinner instead of a sandwich, you don't have to flatten them out so much. But we are making breakfast sandwiches with these today. I'm going to continue and show you the next step. So I got them all smushed down and so we have enough for our six eggs. And there was a little extra, so I get another cookie sheet and put those out. So we're going to put this in the oven at about 10 minutes and check on them. Rotate your pans. If you have two pans in your oven, rotate them after about seven minutes. And you just want them to be a golden brown. If you overcook them, they'll be dry little hockey pucks. The biscuits are done. Nice and golden brown. Perfect little size. They're not too puffy. See, they're nice and thin. So putting two of them together will make a perfect little sandwich. I like to wrap mine in parchment paper. You can use lip Ziploc bags if you wish, but with the paper, you can pop them in the freezer, possibly put them in a freezer style Ziploc, the big ones to 
house a whole bunch of them to keep them safe in the freezer. When I bought a, a roll of sausage from the store, I went ahead and, and cooked them out into patties when it was still a thaw fresh meat and um, then I froze them so they're already ready to be put into sandwiches. I'm going to add a little more cheese with the sausage and the egg of that big sandwich. Whoever gets to eat this is going to have a nice big mouthful. Okay, so to wrap, fold it over. Sides, little triangles, almost like how you wrap a, a Christmas present, fold it up over, and there you have it. A breakfast sandwich ready to be put in the freezer or in your refrigerator if you're going to eat it tomorrow. I like to store them all in my big Ziploc like this, put them in the freezer, and when you're ready to eat one, you can put it in the refrigerator the night before and it will be all thawed out in the morning. And a good 30 seconds in the microwave. You don't even have to unwrap it. You just put the whole thing for 30 seconds in the microwave and it will be nice and piping hot. make breakfast sandwiches for your family, for yourself, for on the go, for those who have to go to work. This way you know exactly what ingredients are in your sandwich. You can choose which kind of cheese you want. You can choose only to have the sausage. You could do Canadian bacon or regular bacon, whatever your preference is, it will work in these biscuits for a breakfast sandwich. Got three more to go and they'll fit perfectly in my Ziploc that will go into my freezer for when the family wants a breakfast sandwich. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.